UFC 107. 107. Right. Uh, what do you Honestly, think? I think it's going to be a decent card. Now, I, I know hey, I've been harping on their cards as of late, but I just because they don't seem to put out. This, they have a huge stable of fighters. Right. Use them. I don't want to see Randy Couture fight six times in four months. I don't or give a Chuck shit. Or Chuck Liddell fight Tito Ortiz. I'm sorry, a third time. Yeah, at, for what? I, I don't. I don't want to see it. I don't got any problem saying it. I don't want to see it. I just. That's it's fine old. if it's not. It's fine if it's not the main fight. The main fight should have some significance or some outcome somewhere down the line. Right. BJ well, Penn versus Diego Sanchez. That's a good fight because it's a title fight. Yes. That's a good fight. Well, let's start with some of the fights before. Kenny Florian versus Clay Guida. To me, right there, that's going to be your fight of the night. It's going to be that's, those guys are going to bang like shit. That's a good fucking matchup. Yeah, you know? that's going to be, in my opinion, fight of the night. Now, Kenny Florian's two to one favorite over Clay Guida. You know, I mean, but Clay Guida's like a guy kind of like uh, so could you. He always fights good Dude, guys, and he's going to bring the wood. Yeah, you need to, in training. I hope Kenny Florian, you got a pack of hyenas to chase you around the ring all day because that's what Clay's going to do. He constantly comes for you. Can hit him in the head with it, dude. He'd be great in the WWE. Right. He would. And anything goes match, Shorty, a barbed wire, yeah, yeah, a barbed wire match, right. he didn't care. He's yeah. bleeding all over the place. That guy coming has forward. so much fucking stamina and cardio. It's just, it's it's bizarre. And he has man. to have x-ray vision. Because it's the only way you can see through that hair. He Maybe he's hitting meth or something. <laughs> I don't know, Shorty. He is bizarre, but that, I agree with you, will probably be the fight of the night. The next fight, John Fitch versus uh, Mike Pierce. I'm going to be honest with you, I don't know too much about Mike Pierce. Somebody will be like, you don't know about Mike Pierce? Oh, my God. Blah, blah, blah. No. Fuck you. I don't know about him. Okay? I don't know about the motherfucker. I'm sorry, you know, because I'm not a fucking walking dictionary on MMA stars. What the fuck? You know what I mean? John Fitch John is the Fitch. favorite. <laughs> okay? And that's all I'm going to say. John Malkovich will fuck him up. Okay? That is it. That's my take on that. Now, next fight. Frank Mir versus Chech Congo. Mir's- Frank Mir is already spouting off at the mouth where an interim title fight, if he gets the belt, it just leads back to Brock Lesnar and he's going to break Brock Lesnar's arm. Right. Okay. You better go find Brock Lesnar right now if you plan on breaking his arm. Yeah. He's, you can't handle Brock Lesnar. Right. He, yeah, I, and you know, and get past Chuck Congo first. You know, yeah. what I'm I mean, that's kind of like you're dismissing the fighter. That, that's not a good thing to do as an MMA fighter. Chuck fucking breaks his jaw. Chuck is not. He's got a great stand-up game. You know, what I'm saying. I think if it goes down to the ground, it's a wrap. It's, it's a wrap. You know, that's why you're tied to one fucking bow knot. Yeah, it's going to be over with. Uh, but I think a bow knot. A bo- what did I just say? Did you make up yeah, that I said word? Bow knot. What is a bow knot? No. You know, <laughs> a bow knot. Anyway, kind of like a donut. Anyway, last fight. You be that motherfucker's so hungry, sure. <laughs> Last fight of the night, BJ Penn, who is the heavy favorite, almost a three to one favorite over Diego Sanchez. I, I'm gonna tell you what. I, of course you're gonna say BJ Penn. Everybody's gonna say BJ Penn. That's why the odds makers said BJ Penn. But Diego Sanchez has incredible work ethic. Oh. The guy fucking he's a bigger guy coming down, obviously, <laughs> sucking weight. Um <laughs> anyway. Um that's my best Diego Sanchez. I would not be surprised if this ends up being more of a fight than most people think. I think it's going to be a scrap. I think it's going to be a scrap match. He's going to push BJ Penn. Yeah. But I still think BJ Penn's going to find a way to beat him. Yeah, BJ Penn is just, I mean, he's, he's just way, I think, just a little too skilled for Diego Sanchez. This is, this is one of those matches where I would like to see one round, one round grappling, one round striking, one round grappling, one round striking, because they're both excellent grapplers, and they both can stand up and bang. Yeah. And BJ Penn, in my opinion, is nasty at 155. I've said it again. I'll say it again. I don't think you can beat this guy yeah, at 155. I just and I think with D.A.U. or Sanchez coming down to 155, it makes him a weaker man. People have to realize that too. Well, he's fought his last couple fights at 155. So yeah, I think, I mean, I think he's, still, he's going against a guy. But the one thing he also benefits from is he's a wrestler. So he's yeah. used to sucking down the weight. Right. These guys who, if you've never wrestled before, it, it's a sweet science to try to get your weight down to, uh, yeah. and keep your stamina and think mentally, I'm still strong. So when I used to wrestle, I just used to not eat. Oh, I didn't I'd either. be weak as fuck, you know? Yeah. But I think at the end of the day, BJ Penn will be doing this. Oh, yeah. That look in the palm shit. You want that's, to that's not the palm. It's the back of your hand. Yeah, that's right. Anyway, UFC 107 is shaping up to be a decent card. <laughs> I hope it lives up to the hype. Um, I think this is a great card for Kevin to buy, so I can come by and watch it for that's $3.99. That's fucked up, man. He's always got me springing for cash, man. You better bring that cake. Watch. When the peanut butter pie comes in, Kevin's going to be like, man, that fight was great. Yeah, don't worry about it. I do it next week, too. That's just a peanut butter pie. It's the money, short. Anyway, we're out of here, man. Bye.